Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. About to just do really stupid things here for the next who knows how long. Got my pot here. The pot that I'm using is kind of irrelevant. I guess I should say what I'm doing. It's already in the title though, right? Ugly Christmas sweater planter or ugly Christmas plant. It doesn't really matter. You get it. I'm not the most crafty person. I can do them, I just don't really have the patience for them. But I figure if it has the word ugly in it, then it's just gonna be a good time. It's a low bar, which I should be able to handle. So I went to Walmart, I went through the various aisles. It was Thanksgiving day. My family did Thanksgiving a few days later, so I had the day free. And uh, the what I was able to get seems okay. And my decent selection of things at Walmart, but some of them I still thought were kind of overpriced. Like these guys. I think these were a dollar or two dollars a piece. I feel like, couldn't you used to be able to buy like a giant bag of tiny little bows for it? Whatever, that's besides the point. I picked up various things, little trinkets. I don't know if I'll be using all of them, but they're here just in case, just, you know, see if I can make things nice and ugly. And then I went by Dollar Tree and it was the most crowded I've ever seen Dollar Tree before. They did have some decent stuff though. They even had uh, little fairy lights, but the color options were kind of weird. So it's like on one strand, they think that it was like blue and red and the other ones were yellow and green and they weren't the same size. It was kind of odd. I don't have a shortage of fairy lights, so that's not a big deal. Here's what I got from Dollar Tree, just, you know, patches and shiny sparkly things. Oh, that's, that's not for this video. That's for something else. Little something to hang on the door so the dogs can let me know when they need to go out. And I've got my glue gun here, which I probably should have turned on to get that thing heating up. Here's my pot. I don't want to glue anything directly to it because actually I really like this pot. I originally was going to use an old sweater, but then I looked at the sweater and I was like, actually, I like this sweater. I don't want to cut it up. So I went back to Walmart and just found a cheap red sweater. It's actually, it's already an ugly sweater, but I'm, I'm, we're not cheating. I'm going to make my own. It can be two-sided. And then if you don't want to be crafty, make an ugly sweater, you just do it like this. So I'm gonna go ahead, drop this on the pot, start gluing stuff on here. And I feel like it should go without saying, if you've seen my videos before, I'm not really a crafty person. This is not a DIY or a how-to. We're just hanging out while I just do something stupid for a little while. Just some lighthearted fun, not meant to be taken too seriously. I actually, I kind of like that idea of just putting a cheap sweater over the pot. The sweater fits fairly well. I could probably go through and cut this or tie it in the other direction. I don't know, I'll play around with it, figure that part out. But it being a little bit big sort of works out in my favor because I'm going to put my little fiddle ficus in here and because of the angle of the pot, the nursery container that it's in isn't quite the right size so it sticks up just a little bit. I'm not really looking to repot it just at this moment, so I just wanted to set it in here. You get it, so it works. There's this hole here, it'll stick up a little bit. It'll, you, you get it. And how long does it take glue guns to heat up? Is it done yet? Looks like there's a drip getting ready to happen, so I'm gonna say that's probably ready to go, right? It, this seems messy. What do crafty people do? What happens? What did the, what's the DIY situation? Did we just let this fall? I don't like that. We're just gonna let that glue fall all over the place. I mean, it'll peel off of this surface, but still, that's not where to go. Well, I guess that means that it's heated up and ready to go. I'm surprised with how quick, okay, don't set it on fire. I'm surprised with how fast that was. This is new, I've never used this before. It's battery powered, I already had the battery and the charger, otherwise I don't think I would go the cordless route because it'd be very expensive. But just for this alone was $30 regular price. I asked them for a discount because the packaging was gross. It had clearly been opened and returned, so I got it for less than that. I know you can get like really cheap little glue guns. I've used them before. I don't like them. I don't know if it's a big hand situation. It's just, I don't know. Wanted to get something that I didn't have to have a cord with too. I thought that was a neat concept. Five minutes in and haven't even started yet. Welcome to my channel. I'm sure that has nothing to do with the fact that some of this has been going on. Ow! Oh my God. This is dangerous. You crafty people are freaking rebels. Oh, okay. All right, now that's glued to the table. Well, I just filmed a whole thing and wasn't even recording. You didn't miss anything. I just burnt myself and talked some more and said, I think that this glue dries really fast, so I probably need to work more quickly and maybe try shutting the hell up and just doing the job. Is it supposed to be smoking? Is that normal? Craft people? Is that, am I doing a bad thing? What's happening? Ow, hot, jeez. Okay, don't do that. If I just start from over here. Oh, 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 no, work faster, work faster. Will that just peel off when it dries? I mean, probably not. Okay. Off to a great start. Maybe I can just 
Okay, all right, bad things are happening. It's not that hot, so I don't, oh, that'll peel off. It's gonna be okay. Is that salvageable? Yeah, okay, it's okay, it's gonna come off. I mean, maybe not. I'm not aiming for perfection, it's okay. O's, that's gonna make things really ugly. But just some of that, how much do you need? That's probably way too much. Perfect. I am being careful to pull this sweater occasionally because I don't want it to end up being glued to the pot. Probably should have put like a layer of parchment paper or something underneath, but oh, well, oh well. What's done is done. I don't have any parchment paper. Anyways, I smell burning. I smell burning plastic to be more specific. And I think that that's from, you know, doing this. That would make sense, right? Uh, why is there a giant gaping hole in the middle of this bow? Kind of weird. Adds to the ambiance. Gives it character. Now, ugly Christmas sweaters usually have something like big and chunky in the middle. So should I just put a stocking there? Should I cut them out? Kind of okay with just leaving the stocking there because then you could put something in it. No? That's probably dumb. Which is just more reason to do it. Dumber the better. I bet I just glued the stocking closed though, didn't I? Oops. Oh, that's not centered at all. That's okay. I'm sure it's fine. Pull this. Maybe I can... Wow, it's hot in there. Let's do some of this. See if that'll make it stick a little bit better. Is it working? I feel like I'm just melting the sweater. I have these patches from the... I thought they were patches from the dollar store, but they're little pins. I guess that's just easy to figure out what to do there, right? And just... There we go. Doing my best not to stab myself. It's getting uglier. It actually says patch pins right there on the package, but yeah, I don't know. Clearly wasn't paying attention. I still would have gotten them, so it, it doesn't really matter. This is still hot. It's weird. It's been drying from the gun over here very quickly. Like it drips out and hits that and it's dry almost instantly and cool, but still quite toasty on the stocking. And then the ornaments, these, oh, these aren't ornaments. Wait. No, it says ornaments, but they're on Oh yeah, you have to add the hooks yourself, duh. I was thinking that they had like, you know, the little hooks on them, but nope. Little glitter there, stick it on. Did I say do a little glitter? No, let's put some glue. Glue in here. I had glitter on my mind because there is glitter absolutely everywhere. I have to remember to space these a little bit further apart. I only have a few. All these are still cool. I don't really want them hanging straight up and down. In fact, that would have looked better spread about, it doesn't matter. And can still make it plenty random. There, have one down there. Nope, that needs to go the other way. Never mind, glue set. That looks good. Again, I have to keep reminding myself to pull this out. I'll stick the sweater to the pot. I don't hate the direction this is going. It's definitely living up to the ugly part which is perfect like i said crafts they just don't have the patience for them if it doesn't have to look good that's better i prefer a craft where you just get to have a good time and it doesn't have to look perfect that's my kind of craft now the santa hat what am i gonna do with that oh well, maybe i can get these antlers off peel them and stick them on there Think about the dollar store things are coming apart very easily cut this up and it just pulls apart no problem and maybe i can like do this I can move these, that's not a big deal. Kinda lucked out, those being pins, I can just pop them off. Now the this guy, I don't know, is that gonna come off? It's probably gonna leave a, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, that works out okay. Except for this being incredibly messy, I'm kinda into this glue gun thing. I really don't, is it supposed to be smoking this much? Is this normal? It really smells kind of toxic-like, and I don't remember that with my other glue guns. Okay try and do this without burning myself. Ah, fail, hot. This is dangerous stuff here. Okay, I'm starting to like this even more. Keeping things ugly. Pop that back on right there. <laughs> try that again. You good? You gonna stay? Probably not. Did I not use enough glue? If that'll work. There's like little strings all over the place over here. This guy right here. I'll actually pin that in when the glue's not piping hot and trying to burn my fingers off? No, maybe I'll do it right now. See, I need to put some more glue on this end, but that worked out in favor of trying to get this pin to go back together. What do we think? I think it needs more. Uh, I almost forgot I had these guys, so I went ahead and moved those, and this one, he lost his nose, so he's a little derpy. I'm okay with it. What kind of monster doesn't like a snowman that's just a little bit derpy? Nothing wrong with it. This glue gun situation that's going on here is so much fun and easy that all I can really do is think about all the things that I can glue to flower pots now. Like, wouldn't it be fun if I could find like a clearance Christmas tree, a, an artificial one, and just cover a pot with branches and then have that look, it'll look weird. And then if you've seen the ornament wreaths, I've made one of those before and just cover a pot with ornaments, I might do that. I probably will do that. So it has 
approach the point of too much, so I think it's perfect. I have these string lights here. I just don't really know. I could put the battery pack in there, perhaps, but I think that it's going to be kind of... That's my cat. My cat did that. We were playing. Don't worry about it. It gets kind of feisty sometimes. So that does fit in there, but then there's this... The wire's coming right out the front, so I have to kind of decide if I care about that. I don't think I do, because I was thinking that I might just sort of kind of bunch these lights up here, have them sort of come out the top of the stocking. Down a little bit haphazardously, if possible. Maybe not. It's wire, you know, it's hard to work with sometimes. And they did have those little... I didn't get them. I really should have. I mean, all this other stuff I got, like, they're little tiny packages. They look like little presence that would have been a cute thing to have coming out the top of this i would have liked that this works though i'm okay with it they got the ugly thing down oh, i do have more string lights i don't really think it needs it but i might do it anyways i had actually been hoping to put the bigger string lights in here that actually have big bulbs in them around the top of this but i just couldn't find any that I liked, so maybe I'll just try the snowmen up here, see how that works. It's a six foot long string, so it seems kind of excessive. Things are becoming too much, but that might be okay. Uh, no, that's too many wires. I don't want all the wires on here. If I find the bigger fairy lights, the ones with the big bulbs, I'll probably pull this out and stick those up here, but for now, no, there's too many wires. I'd say that's enough. <laughs> that's, it's, it's, too much, actually. Maybe this should come out. It doesn't matter. Once I get in my head over thinking things, even if it's intentionally supposed to be ugly, it's all going to go downhill. The trick sometimes is just to just stop. Like, if I like it, why keep messing with it? That doesn't make any sense. I guess that does it. Look at how beautiful. Isn't it just just a piece of work, right? Art. My name is Jeff. Welcome to my art channel. I do art things, but not really. Oh, I suppose I should grab the plant, shouldn't I? It's not going to fit in frame. I got a wall, right? There's a wall right back here, but I'll see what I can do. Yeah, see what I meant about how it doesn't really fit? It just sticks up a smidge too high, but I think that's okay, because look, I can just take this and pull it up like that and never really even know. That just, that looks fantastic. Such a professional piece of art. I did, I had to cut a seam here to make that go on. I think it's okay. Well, what do we think? It's cute. It'll do. This is a little fiddle ficus, ficus laurata, little fiddle. has little tiny leaves compared to the bigger, regular, normal ficus laurata. And they tend to be a little bit closer together. The cares to my knowledge, pretty much identical. I've never had to treat this plant any differently. So far, it's been a pretty sturdy little plant. I really like it. And it's just, oh, it looks so dumb. That was the point though, right? I did also notice, maybe if I shut my lights off, I'll be able to see this. You can kind of see it. So the little string lights actually show through the fabric on here. So I might just tuck those down in there all the way. Might not be as noticeable on camera, but I'll be able to see it in the house. I'm just going to try and kind of bundle them up together. And if I can drop this in here, the, wait, do I have to set the timer on this? No. Okay. These have a timer on them. It's preset. So I think they run for what, eight hours, something like that. And turn off from whatever time you had them set to turn on at. Wait, what? I don't know. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah. I like that. Everything kind of blends together a bit much, but it doesn't matter. This is just for fun. Not supposed to look mind-blowing or anything like that. And uh, that's going to look cute in the house when all these lights aren't around and you can actually see those fairy lights in there. That'll look neat. It's a little bit late tonight. I'll be sure in my next vlog that comes out to put this in the house so you can see it's glory up against an actual wall. It's just gonna look like this with a wall behind it. What I do actually really like about this is that when the holidays are over I can just take the sweater off and there'll be a normal pot underneath it. I kind of like the idea of having something that I can just drop over these pots when I bring out my Christmas decor and pull right off when the holidays are over and it's even a little bit of a motivation to maybe do this again but have it maybe not as ugly Christmas sweatery and like maybe just do some ribbon or something like that. Although I'm not going to go out and keep buying sweaters for the pots. That just worked out luck wise. I don't think that it would be easier probably to use felt or old clothes, something like that. I think I just got kind of lucky finding a sweater that fit on here so perfectly. Well, almost perfectly. It's a little bit loose and baggy, but I'm kind of okay with that, right? Because it's a sweater. 
Sweater's supposed to be kind of loose and baggy. It's got a bit, the pot needs to be comfortable. It shouldn't be constricted all winter long. That wouldn't be fun. And if it were too tight, I might have to worry a little bit about it like stretching and continuing to fall. I feel like this is just about the right fit for this pot. This is weird. Like the more I mess with it, I realize what I just did. A, I did a weird thing. Sometimes just gotta do something stupid and have a good time. Oh, and I will say this is my first time using this and I like it. You can check the battery on it from the front. There's a little button right here. The battery is almost exhausted on it, but I did have this on for a little over an hour. So that really, I'm kind of surprised. I was thinking for something that uses heat that there wouldn't be much longevity in the battery, but that wasn't too bad. I got some life out of that. I was also thinking there would just be this gigantic mess on the table, but really right here, this is pretty much all that dripped out of it. And I've used hot glue guns in the past, it's like the little cheap, like $5 tiny ones, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, that just like drool. They just constantly have a stream of glue coming down from them. But this one, that's, that's it. That's all that dripped out, so not too bad. Not really the point of the video, but if you're wondering, I like it. I actually think I could pull this up a little bit higher since there's that overlap now, but again, kind of reach a point when I do things where I have to turn my brain off and say to just stop messing with it. So that's what I'm going to do. How are you all doing? You guys have fun holiday crafts going on? I think it would be fun if other people here on YouTube did this. I'd already been talking with Pam's planty things on Instagram and I said hey I'm doing this you want to do it and she said sure I was like awesome so anybody else who wants to do it just jump on board hashtag ugly Christmas sweater planter it's there's no rules just whatever works for everybody whatever floats your creative boat that works fine I'm having one of those moments where I've completed something and I just look at it and I'm like what, what why why did I do this but I just wanted to have a good time so thanks for hanging out with me while I got to just be stupid and have a good time. My social media is linked down below, down in the description of the video. I'm sure I'll have a picture of this monstrosity posted up on there somewhere tonight. Somewhere tonight? Sometime tonight. Uh oh. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, you can give the video a thumbs up. It makes a big difference for the videos and the channel. I really do appreciate it and thank you for it. And subscribe as well and hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. Comment down below, say hi. Like I said, what are your crafts? Do y'all have holiday themes in your house i don't really have a theme i really do kind of prefer to go the uh, snowman penguin route with things just because then i don't feel rushed to put them away right after christmas because they're kind of like winter decor as long as they don't have like a ton of red and green and stuff on them all right good times and don't be surprised if there's more videos coming out in the near future that involve a glue gun that nobody asked for because i had a good time doing this i hope everybody's doing well having a great day and great life and everything's just going beautifully for you i actually really like the snowman without the nose there's just something about him it just has one of those faces how could you not love that face oh and if you wanted more talk about the little fiddle i have already been planning on doing a little spot light on it so i'll try to have that out in the near future and don't forget to check out pam's planty things here on youtube and on instagram i have all of her information linked down below in the description of the video pam hi how are you look forward to seeing your video your ugly christmas sweater planter and uh, anybody else who jumps on board have fun with it okay i'll shut up now as always and most importantly everybody keep on growing bye bye